Soon, I will be the Empress closest confidant. Hello everybody and welcome to the last Star Wars Battlefront Hero Showcase video. In this video we're taking a look at Director Orson Krennic. He is the Director of Imperial Advanced Weapons Research and was added in the Rogue One Scarif DLC along with Jin Erso. He uses the DT-29 Heavy Blaster Pistol, which instead of using the overheat mechanic that all the other blasters do, his uses a reload mechanic, which means he can fire six high caliber shots, and then he's forced to reload, so this is very, like a new mechanic that you have to be careful when using Krennic. He's accompanied by Imperial Death Troopers who serve as his bodyguards. But before we take an in-depth look at Director Krennic, let's take a look at his emails. Destroy this rebellion. Nothing will interfere with my plans. No one will deny me my rightful place. Director Krennic is a very defensive and team-focused hero, and his abilities reflect this very well. His first ability is called Armor Breaker, and this is a toggle ability that loads a unique ammo into his DT-29. This ammo is high damage and lowers armor, but you can only shoot one shot before you have to reload. It is effective against heroes and distant targets, and again, like I said, you can only shoot one shot of this before you have to reload, meaning you should not face a group of enemies because that long reload time can cost you a lot of health. Krennic's second and most useful ability is his C2B5 astromech droid. This droid deploys a shield and scans for enemies, and if a rebel is detected near the droid, it releases dioxys gas to kill them. This is very lethal dioxys gas as it takes maybe three seconds to kill a full health rebel, so it doesn't take long at all. So this is a great defensive position. But watch out for rebels with scatter guns because destroyed shield can still be penetrated by scatter guns and cycler rifles. Krennic's third and final ability is called Wrath of the Empire. This allows troops to withstand high damage, replenishes and doubles troops' health, and increases their armor. And when the armor and health is increased to 200, it slowly lowers down by I think 10% every few seconds down to 50. But this is a great way to push enemies into battle, no, push friendlies into battle, sorry, by having this ability and getting your troops' health all the way up so they can withstand a lot more damage and capture a control point. When Wrath of the Empire is used on a villain, this gives them a low health boost and temporary high armor. And it gives troops the advantage when working together, used at the right time, or a troop's health may be too low, so if you use it too early before a big push, the trooper's health might already be down to 50%, so they can, instead of taking more damage, they can take less damage, so you might have screwed your entire team over. For the glory of the Empire. Krennic's passive trait is called Motivator. Imperial troops and Krennic gain armor by being around him. The more friendly troops near Krennic, the higher the armor boost. Villains count as two units, so if a if Darth Vader is standing next to Krennic, that counts as two friendly units, so the armor is increased for Vader, Krennic, and any troops around them. This makes Krennic the center point of the team, and paired with Wrath of the Empire, this makes this team very powerful, as it increases their armor even more, and Wrath of the Empire gives them more health, so Krennic's very team-focused. Stay near Krennic if he's on the battlefield, he'll be giving you boosts left and right, and you'll just be way more powerful than you would if you were on the other side of the field from Krennic. So stay near him if he's there, it's very helpful to be around, and if you're playing as him, make sure you're playing him correctly and helping out your friends. Like Princess Leia and Emperor Palpatine, Krennic has bodyguards. These are death troopers, and they are very tall, they're black, they look scary, you can't miss them, and if Krennic is on the battlefield, you can bet that death troopers will be close behind. Two players are given the option to start as Death Troopers in the spawn menu if Krennic is on the battlefield. So take this option if you can. They are armed with a DLT-19 Heavy Blaster as well as Thermal Imploder, Cooling Cells, and Smart Rockets. So instead of Emperor Palpatine's guards and Leia's guards, 
who have smart rockets and homing launchers. These ones are a little more powerful, but they have less health than the other bodyguards. So when playing as a death trooper, you want to play just like you would an Alderaan guard or a royal guard. Stay near Krennic, he'll be giving you boosts and you have to protect him because he has lower health and he can't take as much damage so he's counting on his death troopers to keep him protected at all. Here are some tips to remember when playing as director Krennic. Orson Krennic has excessively high damage but should he be confronted he has very bad armor. He is best used as either a defensive front or an ambusher and is extremely effective when the enemy's attention isn't on him. If you have good aim and clear lines of sight, always use the armor breaker as it will instantly kill any infantry standing close to the shot, do significant damage and considerably lower the armor of a hero, and one shot any aircraft. Try to use the C-235 droid to defend your flank and pop out of its shield to pick off enemies. Wrath of the Empire is great when your troops are trying to push through a doorway. Generally, Krennic isn't the spearhead of the attack, he is the artillery. Use Darth Vader, Dengar, or Death Troopers as meat shields or distractions. Also, use the astromech whenever your objective is an uplink or a shuttle. The Dioxys gas is very powerful and can kill enemies with ease. A good strategy is to set up the C2B5 astromech in a hallway, that way any enemies running through it will be affected. Deploy your astromech near a rebel base, as this will block rebels charging through. This is also a great defense against heroes like Luke Skywalker. Only use the armor breaker ability when enemies are far and are fighting teammates, as it will be difficult to fight off foes that are close and may lead to your demise if the enemy number is high. And that is the end of the Star Wars Battlefront Hero Showcase series. If you enjoyed this series, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if this video helped you play Director Orson Krennic just a little bit better, please again, like, comment, and subscribe. It is all greatly appreciated, as well as follow me on Twitter and subscribe for Star Wars Battlefront 2 news and content. And until the next video, may the Force be with you.